Hi AEME students. I wanted to create a screencast that would demonstrate some of the research techniques and strategies that we're going to be doing in the library and in class over the next couple weeks as we research the Renaissance art paintings to which you've been assigned. Um, so I want to talk about different kinds of sources. I want to talk about the difference between common knowledge and uh, fact that you would attribute to a source. I want to talk about different kinds of note cards and uh, some, some strategies for note taking and some technical features of Noodle Tools. But I wanted to, to demonstrate this or model this uh, by actually looking at a painting um, that I've been studying over the last few years called The uh, Virgin and Child with Chancellor Roland. It is by the Flemish artist Jan van Eyck. It was painted around 1435. Um, you can see that the Chancellor here, who is the patron of the painting, is in his half of this space, the earthly space, separated uh, but communicating with the heavenly space occupied by the baby Jesus, Mother Mary, and an angel who is crowning her. But they are together in this Italianate loggia, and off in the distance there's this incredibly detailed um, landscape that provides perspective for the whole piece. So everything that I've just said about that painting is, um, is sort of summary and it, it will be in just about every single source. So that's common knowledge. Other kinds of common knowledge would include facts about the painting like the date, its size, its location currently, uh, perhaps you have a painting in which there are uh, classical myths or Bible stories. You can assume that that backstory is common knowledge. So anything that, that is found in multiple sources um, doesn't really need to be attributed. Better safe than sorry, but you, you might find that uh, your, your teachers are telling you this is common knowledge and, and, and you really don't need to attribute it with a, a page number and a, and a source. Um, so speaking of sources, I wanted to take a look at uh, a, a resource available to you. This is um, a scan from a uh, one of the series of art histories that we have in the library that you'll be using. And I chose this because many of you, maybe even most of you, will find in the, in the resources in the library whole pages dedicated to your painting. But I also want to encourage you to look at broader resources, broader discussions of your artist and his or her place in art history. And so, for example, I found in this entry on Van Eyck a paragraph about portraiture and his uh, contributions to portraiture. And so even though this doesn't specifically have to do with Chancellor Roland, um, it is about portraiture, and this uh, the painting is obviously a portrait. So I'm just going to read this and then show you how I took notes on it. So von Eyck's contribution to portraiture was also significant. He abandoned the Gothic tradition of exaggerated physical features in favor of a lifelike description of the individual face. He realized that the three-quarter view, with head turned halfway between profile and full face, could be much more naturalistic than the conventional profile. He understood that if the face was turned toward the light, he could use the shadow playing over the visible side to describe minute details of the surface. With his usual ingenuity, he explored ways to include the hands to greatest effect and experimented with the impact of a novel device, a direct glance out of the picture. So, my card for this uh, refers to the source, and I've carefully noted the page number as well. So if you are dealing with print sources, you must be paying attention to the pages field. My title for the card has to do with technique, and then I'm a little more specific. The subtopic is portraiture. And uh, you've used Noodle Tools, so you know that there are three different fields in which you can take notes. This one over here is direct quotation. Um, most of your notes will be in this field here because that's paraphrase or summary. 
And then if you have ideas, reflections about the note that you've taken, you can put them here in the My Idea field. So the difference between summary and paraphrase is simply a matter of detail. Summary captures a main idea. So if I wanted to capture just the main idea of that paragraph that I read in one sentence, I would say, Van Eyck painted subjects very realistically. Okay. A paraphrase is a much more detailed uh, translation of the source into your own words. So this is how I've done that. Rather than exaggerating certain physical characteristics of a subject the way Gothic painters did, von Eyck focused on realistically representing the facial features. He was able to do this by using a three-quarter profile halfway between side and frontal views to capture the play of light and shadow on the face. He also depicted hands in great detail. So that's my rendering of this paragraph. There are words that I have repeated, exaggerated, gothic, uh, but I've, I've changed the phrasing, and uh, I, I have to use gothic because there really is no other word that is the term to refer to that style or that period in which the painters were, were painting in that manner. So uh, I don't have to put quotes around it. Um, so this is a, an example of a paraphrase kind of going through translating, as I say, into my own words, um, abbreviating, shortening a little bit, but um, pulling out the detail that's relevant to my painting. Now down here I've also added uh, an idea that came to me as I read it, that the three-quarter profile is more true of the Madonna and Jesus, right, more true here and here than here. He's more kind of an in, in, in side profile, okay. Um, but their hands are all visible, and then I had this idea that maybe hands are symbolic of the power of human agency, human capacity uh, to work, uh, and you know, in, in the real world, and as as a reflection of that Italian um, or rather Renaissance humanism. Okay, so that's my idea. You'll note that I didn't do a direct quotation here. Uh, most of your cards, as I say, will be paraphrase or summary. You might find that there are absolutely perfectly expressed ideas that you want to capture. So here at this website from the Louvre, for example, I found this sentence. She seems to be looking at the cross on the top of the globe. Baby Jesus is holding a globe here. You can't really see it. Um, prefiguring her son's suffering and crucifixion. So that, that sentence seemed to really uh, capture that idea very well. And so I wanted to capture that in this card here. Though I've been careful to put it in direct quote, you know, uh, quotation marks because it is a direct quotation. And maybe ultimately when I write the paper, I'm not going to be taking the whole sentence. Maybe I'm just going to be taking this final participial phrase that's so beautifully expressed here, prefiguring her son's suffering and crucifixion. But um, I'll, I'll capture the whole quote. You'll note on this page, uh, or for this source rather, there are no pages because it is an internet source. So those are obviously not paginated. But again, I have indicated the title, which is the subject, and gone further to talk about Mary and what she's doing in the painting here. Um, coming back to this original card that I looked at, your teachers may have different ideas about this, but I feel that if you're doing this work of paraphrase very deliberately, um, you might as well go ahead and write full sentences as you capture the information. Because if, you, if you're doing that work along the way, then when it comes time to pull together your 
uh, outline using the outline functionality of Noodle Tools, it's going to be very easy to string these together into paragraphs if they're already written out and you've, you've you know done a thoughtful job writing full sentences. So again, there may be some difference of opinion there, but I think that's worth the extra time. And I think that's all I wanted to cover. I, I hope that's helpful. Um, uh, obviously, the uh, your teachers, uh, Ms. Brady and Ms. Coventry are going to be excellent resources, so if you have any questions, be sure to uh, check in with them regularly as you do this research. Good luck. Thanks.